time now to check in with Michelle once again for a look at our pinpoint weather and traffic together as we are looking at a winter storm warning now for Friday. Yeah, it's quiet, beautiful out there right now this morning here. Not too chilly for January morning. Temperatures mostly in the upper 30s. Mm -hmm. And we'll top out near 40 today. So get out and enjoy the day. Maybe some preps for tomorrow's yep. snow. Let's take a look at the conditions right now in Newport. And you can see the mostly sunny skies. Temperatures, as I mentioned, staying up above freezing for most of our area. 36 now in Smithfield, 38 Providence, and 39 in Newport, New Bedford. Also in the upper 30s. Our live radar is dry this morning, but late tonight, after midnight, in fact, after 2 a.m., we're going to start to see some snow moving in. So we've got this winter storm warning that's now in effect for Rhode Island and most of southeastern Massachusetts. That's where we expect the highest snowfall totals to be. I wouldn't be shocked if it was expanded to include parts of uh, eastern Connecticut and maybe even southern Worcester County, too, because it's going to be real slow going with our travel tomorrow morning. High impact, despite it not being a you know, major. Nature storm system. Timing wise, it's going to make travel very difficult in the morning hours, right through about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Then we'll start to see some gradual improvements in the afternoon. And it's going to be snowing heavy during that time, four to as much as eight inches of snow. We're feeling good about four to six inches of snow. I do think some isolated higher totals and bands of heavy snow may set up and where those six and eight inch totals again possible right now in our area. I see a little mixing across the Cape and Islands. So slightly less expected there. Here's the arrival time, 2 to 4 a.m. for the first flakes, heaviest between 5 a.m. and 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, ending between 11 a.m. That's going to cause some travel issues and potentially even some school cancellations with this, uh, again, right through the morning tomorrow. Today, though, looking good. Highs near 40 degrees, 5 o'clock this evening at around 35. Got plans this evening. No weather-related issues for you. We'll fall eventually into the upper 20s as the snow starts to uh, move in and winds will be light during that time out of the north and northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's a setup this morning. You can see most of the precipitation down across the Tennessee Valley this morning. That area of low pressure going to uh, also pull in a little bit of energy from this offshore disturbance. They'll merge and that will create our coastal storm approaching and moving southeast of our area early tomorrow morning. So over 7 o'clock in the morning, we could be seeing snowfall rates at around an inch per hour. That's going to reduce visibility and make the travel tough. Four o'clock in the afternoon, typical evening commute starting. It's drying out. Sky's even clearing. We'll end the day with some breaks of sunshine. Let's get in close and show you the details here. 11 o'clock tonight, cloudy skies but still dry. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, upper 20s with moderate to at times some heavy snow and then winding down from west to east. By 10 o'clock in the morning, the heaviest of the snow starting to slide out of our area. And noontime, we're drying out. Again, eastern Connecticut, most of Rhode Island looking snow free at that point and clearing out as the afternoon goes on with the temperatures hovering right around the upper 20s to low. 30s most of the day tomorrow. Here's another look at the winds for tomorrow. Light when the heaviest of the snow is falling and then picking up as the storm departs with gusts over 20 possible. In the seven day forecast, low 30s for the high tomorrow and again cold and dry for Saturday. Teens in the morning. And again, Sunday, very chilly start, but some milder air coming in temporarily ahead of a cold front. That's going to lead to some rain showers late Sunday afternoon and the early part of Sunday night. Cold front sweeps across our area Sunday night and Monday, falling temperatures through the day on Monday. And it's bitter cold next Tuesday. Highs only in the teens.